Hello and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 22 over on Court Farms. Right, guys, as you can see, we have moved along into November. So, a bit of snow on the ground, not the best, uh, the best thing in the world. We've got the canola field planting over there, so we basically need to go and just. Uh, I'll just start then. Is, can that actually be planted this month? Right, we've got a problem. We've got a problem. Our big field that I'm going to do cannot be done in November. No, I can't believe that. I never even thought of that. I never even thought of that. That is just... Oh, that was going to give me £8,000. No way, I was just going to leave that going today. Oh, no. Right, well, we've lost a bit of seed there. That's... That's going. I've got these two fields that I want to get ploughed. Let's cultivate in this. Ah, oh, this is... This has just gone so badly wrong. Now, I do have two fields near us. Uh, I, I needed to do the cultivating. I needed to do that. Uh, I should have done that off recording. I should have done it off recording. 17 barley, 19 wheat. Oh, that... No, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. No way, that's... That's good. Uh, We've just lost so much winter income. Oh, so much winter income. I can't believe that. That is just... Uh. Right, so 17 first. So what was 17? 17 to the barley. So we'll do 19 first. Yeah, please forgive me today, guys. Hay fever. The temperature has just skyrocketed where I live. The hay fever. Uh, the pollen count has just gone from, like high to extremely high it's just oh it's just it's just hell today i've been suffering throughout the night and uh, yeah today apparently we've got a little mini heat wave coming for for the uk you know we couldn't have it in the and you know we couldn't have it in the holidays the kids basically start going back to school and college today um my daughter goes to school today well college sorry she goes to college today for an hour and a half. One and a half hours. Now, bear in mind, it's a 12-mile round trip to take her. What a waste of time. <laughs> for an hour and a half. Now, I am blessed enough that my dad lives... Oh, not far from, from where she goes to college, to be fair. And, uh, yeah... Now, obviously, I'm I'm talking Tuesday. It is Tuesday today, guys. I know you guys will get this on a Wednesday, but even on a Wednesday, she only goes to college half day. It's uh, it's it's mental. So a lot of a lot of faffing about over the next couple of days, just running a tour from college and things like that. And yeah, we'll. Uh, I can't see a thing. I can't, I genuinely can't see anything, but now we've kind of got that out of the way, I'm just going to up the time a little bit here, we'll leave it, I'll leave it on 5 for now, I normally have it on 6, I, I did like 6, but you got to remember, it's winter now, the, uh, the evenings get darker earlier, the mornings get darker, now again, you shouldn't really do this kind of work at this time of the year, you know, it's a, you know, a bit snowy, but the snow hasn't settled. We need to do something in November. I can't believe I didn't get that canola field done. That's eight grand. That eight thousand pound was going towards our new tractor. That is, that is the issue. That eight thousand pound was going towards our new tractor, and we've just, we've just lost eight thousand pound. Now, I do want to be working on fields closer to the farm. I know I said that a couple of videos ago, and you're probably thinking, oh, yeah, but Matt, you're not working near the farm. I've got two ploughing fields pretty much next to each other, about two or three fields up from each other. And the Renault's not too shabby at speed, to be fair. Um, so I don't mind, you know, I sent this guy on a worker to the field, and then 
I didn't have to drive him here. And then I can just do these relatively smaller fields. I'm doing air quotes like you can see me. And then obviously, uh, you know, I'll, I'll do these while... Well, the idea was I was going to do these ploughing contracts while that big canola field was going. I, I genuinely can't believe we, we missed that field. I'm, I'm gutted. I am genuinely gutted we've missed that field. Alright, I was in a rush to mute my mic then. I'm, I'm sneezing like crazy today. I don't know if you can sound it. It's made me nose all runny. Oh, I had this. I, I, I had a couple of week break from the hay fever. Like, it was making me feel a bit under the weather, so to speak. But yeah, just the last couple of... Uh, the last few hours, the, the temperature's just risen dramatically. We're meant to be due a little mini heat wave, apparently. And... Uh, it can bugger off to be honest <laughs> it can bugger off i almost died last year in that heat wave i just we don't have like air conditioning in, i i don't have aircon i refuse to pay for aircon i won't pay for the electricity for aircon not at all we uh, we buy our house anyway we get some nice solar panels on the roof the solar panels in the uk are not the best but if you want to just run like an air conditioning unit in summer. Let's be fair, if you if it's hot enough to be running an air conditioning unit, it's hot enough and sunny enough to be powering itself via solar panels. I mean I know some people, but I live like in the north of England. It's the further north you go, the worse it is for some. I live in one of the wettest coastal towns in the country. We see a lot of rain. Anyway, enough about the uh, the weather and me suffering. Um, yeah, so today's job is we need to get these uh, these couple of ploughing contracts. Now, I know I've done a lot of ploughing lately. I'm trying to... I'm working as quickly as I possibly can towards our new tractor. I also massively, massively appreciate everybody who told me about the water price. Oh, my God. I did not know how expensive the water was on this map. It didn't, I didn't even pay attention when I was filling the, the water tank up. A thousand pound we spent on water for the sheep. A thousand pound. That's expensive. So what I've decided is at some point we're going to just basically dig a hole in the sheep field. And we're just going to put a little bit of a water pond in and that's where we're going to get water from in future. I think that's going to be a lot easier than paying... Well, it was a thousand pound, and it didn't even take us out of the red. You know what I mean, that's that's a lot of water. That's a lot of water. Um, so yeah, and we don't want to be wasting loads of money on that because otherwise, we're not going to make any money off the wool. I wonder if that's why it was done that way, just to make wool not as profitable. Especially when you're playing on the hard economy. See, that's another thing. We are playing on the hard economy. We don't play on. Uh, we don't play on easy. I don't see the point in playing on easy because if you play on the easy economy, you you complete after 20 episodes and yeah, it's just, you run out of map then. You genuinely run out of map. But yeah, my, uh, my my ruggers are all due back to school and college sir, in the next day or two, so. I'm hoping at some point to, in the next couple of weeks to be get back onto the roleplay series. Um, basically, I've got six hours a day to record it, so I can record bits as and when, and hopefully not get interrupted, and hopefully put together a, a good episode. I will probably, well, I, I know I will actually, I'll, I will skip a month on the roleplay just to start fresh, because I, I was kind of mid-month on the episode, on the last episode. I'll probably just skip it to a new month and, like, so I know where I am. Um, so it might look like you've missed a little bit, like, say, I've planted a second field or something, but I just need to, because it's been, like, six weeks, I just need to, like, have, like, a, a fresh start, like, right, I'm here. You know what I mean? Start on a fresh month rather than the middle of a month. I think that's going to be a lot, uh, a lot easier to deal with and uh, to, to bring it back. I'm gutted actually because I I took the roleplay series to Saxthorp and then did two episodes on it and then Caught Farms came out. I would have brought the roleplay to Caught Farms. I would have just used it. 
a home farm or something like that, you know what I mean? I was just use a different farm. Right, field 19 is 50% complete, so that's not too shabby. 50% complete is not too shabby. And if I can get those two fields done and I can get this field done, I think we're going to look at getting rid of the Kubota. Um, I do technically need it. But I think at the moment, getting a third tractor is a little bit more important. Basically, when when we go into the next year, um, we want to be working on doing some grass grass work, some silage work. And I just feel that we need to, you know, we, we need to get a third tractor. If we can send... A, a tractor with a mower, then a tractor with a windrow, and then a tractor with a baler. We can basically just use follow me. We'll get some workers going, and away it goes. Basically, that's that's what I'm thinking. And then we can kind of shoot through some grass contracts in an episode. And yeah, I'm, I don't know if you've all noticed. Now, for me, it was yesterday, so on Monday we got some McHale um, stuff and. I got straight on to fixing the, the logs on it. And uh, yeah, so we're probably gonna try and bring in some of that equipment on this series. Kinda use as much Britishy stuff as possible, you know. On this series. Yeah, our third tractor's got to be a necessity. We have to get a tractor. But we need to be able to get a front loader as well. If we keep the Renault, we need to go and get the front loader on the Renault. Although saying that, with the round bales, we don't need to, do we? We have got the trail, but we need something for the yard. That's the thing. I think a front loader, a front loader, skid steer would be cheaper. Although saying that, would it really be cheaper if I've got the Renault? But the Renault's not going to be the, tr the, the yard, uh, you know, the farm yard. That's going to be the pump. Now, I'm kind of procrastinating a little bit. We haven't really done much in a time lapse. Um, yeah, I was open to do a massive time lapse while that canola field was going, and it's just kind of made me forget everything. So we might not have a time lapse episode today. We might just have a, a normal episode and do a couple of jobs. Might have a bit longer episode. I don't know. We'll we'll see. We'll see. has to be getting near to completion. Right, so the seed field is now 60% done. It's actually... I thought he was going pretty quick, to be honest, but I think he's actually going relatively... Oh, I bet he was doing all this, the, the little silly turns. I bet you that's what's slowing him down. I'd love to be able to do more realistic turns, but this Renault just sucks on trying to get this... Uh, but this plow does technically require a lot more horsepower than what this uh, this tractor's got and I think that's what it is but it pulls it it'll do yeah let's just get a couple of uh couple more of these plowing contracts done over winter. I do love plowing contracts, like I said, they make us some really, really good money. Not as good as money as that canola field would have done, but there's not much we can do about that. We have to forget about that now, but it's a little bit painful to forget when all you want to do is go and plow the field for £8,000. I bought the seed and everything to do it. I spent like four grand on seed go and do like three seeding contracts and then I miss them. I'm, I'm gutted. I'm, I'm genuinely gutted that we've missed out on those contracts or on that contract anyway. Did that contract come up as complete or are we on like 94% or something like that? I saw it hit 90 but I never saw it hit 100. Let's get these wheels on that limey texture. It just makes it a little bit easier to pull the plow. There we go. 
lovely. That is one plough contract down. One down, one to go. There's a few more we can accept. Like I say, might pro might actually put the next ploughing field uh, contract on a on a worker. And we'll go do some seeding, I think. And that makes a little bit more sense. I'm hoping to get some uh, fertilising contracts over the winter months. This has to have finished. There's no way it's still going. It is still going. It's on 99%. Oh, here we go. I've done it now, haven't I? I stopped. <laughs> I stopped. It doesn't like starting. That's what it is. That is literally all it is. There we go. So that's this field down. So 113 is down. So we need to go up, just nip up to 122, which is only a few fields up the road. I don't think 122 is a... Oh, no, actually, it might be a big field. No, bigger. But yeah, we, we need to get our hands on another tractor. Now, we are going to keep an eye on the, uh, the income and things like that because well i've got four bags of seed I, i'd like to try and use up those four bags of seed this winter i think it makes a little bit of sense to try and do that yeah we might have a few episodes in november because uh oh, screw it let's up it to six up the time to six Going into the withered field. There we go. Lovely. Let's get that on there. Let's get near it in. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do first waypoint and away you go. Right, so this is the work that we're on now. So while that's just finishing off, guys, we're just going to have a quick look in the shop. We need more power than we've got. Everyone was like, get the 8200. That's 36,000 pound. Mm. For 115 break. 98 break. <laughs> oh, that jumps up in price, doesn't it? 43,000. 100 break, 100 break. Yeah, we're... 97 break horsepower. Yeah, so the 8200 is going to be the cheapest one. But I don't think we're going to have that. So 36,000. What's the Kubota worth? Because that's something we might... So that, we'd maybe get about £10,000 if we took that back to the shop. That's 10000 Let's have a look in the shop. Is there anything in here for us? No. Like, that would be... I know I don't... I'm, I know I'm not liking the Renault at the moment, but that would be a good tractor to have got for cheaper, if that makes sense, you know, to get some, some contracts done with it. Um, it, it would have been a, a handy one to have got, just because of the price. Um, we are going to accept all the fertilising contracts, because we're going to do those over the winter months. We'll do that one. Um... One four no one four three is too far away. Let's get those. Won't mind some cultivating contract. Seventy two nine. See, none of these are near our farm. This this is going to be my only issue. I'd love to do some of these grass fields right now. That's right near our farm, but. It's, it's not really doable at the moment. So if we just quickly go on to uh, £1,900. Well, that's going to help replace some of the seed that we bought anyway. Right, field 17 is where we're going next. So two fields up once again. And we need barley. So there we go. There's the barley. Yeah, we're just going to quickly go and... Uh, do this field will be the uh, I think we'll put this one into a time lapse I need to make sure there's no cars coming and as soon as I said that there's a bloody car coming when do you believe it I can't see 
Right, I'm just going to drive through the hedge before that car comes. Not Nothing to be like, oh, that's unrealistic. I just want to make sure I'm not getting stuck on the car right at the gateway. You know what the traffic's like? Just stopping. I do love an episode like this where you just play, you know, kind of without time lapses where you actually spend time farming. Only downside is I, I tend to just talk a lot of nonsense. I'm gonna just put that there because I'm gonna just top up while we're here. That's gonna be the only thing if I get rid of the Kubota is running the fuel around. Especially for the Leyland because the Leyland does seem to drink quite a lot of fuel. Let's get that into there. Yep, there. Oh, that's got a high seed rate, is that? Um, it would help if I turn the seeder on. It would definitely help if I turn the seeder on. There we go. Right, let's just pull up here. Let's just top up. And away we go. So what I'm going to do, guys, with this, I'm just going to go and uh, get the radio turned on, listen to some music, and we'll get this field knocked out in a little time lapse. guys complete field 17 so that we have managed to get another little job done today which is very very good indeed i just want to fill just want to top this up shall i say top it up fill it up same thing right have we got another sewing contract nearby um so that's that plowing job done there so that's fertilizing so no, that is all what we've got done there. There, 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 there. there is jobs to do, but they are the other side of the map. So I'm not really interested in doing them ones. So I think what we'll do, we'll just leave that there for now. Because we've got... Just going all the way back up. God, I've got loads of jobs. 
I filled one that's near the farm 61 that's what's going on at the moment field one two two so field 61 so where is 61 right oh well, that's not too bad then so we're doing 21 two, two now we bring him down here we can go up here and we do and we do that one and then the other one is well field one it's it's kind of near the farm we can get to field one by going through our sheep field i'll tell you what we'll do let's install our little pond i was thinking of making a pond there's no way i'm paying a thousand pound a liter a uh, thousand pound for ten thousand liters of water not a chance the amount of water the sheep will take that's going to cost us money. Huge money. I, I, I never, I never realised how much it took. And I do appreciate everybody in the comments who was like, Whoa, Matt, have you seen how much, you know, how much money you've just paid for water? And I'm like, no, actually, I didn't. I, I never once expected it to be a thousand pound for water. Ever. Genuinely never thought it would be a thousand pound for water. That's just absolutely crazy. So we'll make a little pond in our yard i think that's going to be the easiest thing to do um get some free water now making the pond will technically be free but i might charge myself like a thousand pound for building the pond I, I do have it so you don't pay anything for like building and stuff i might i might just pay a thousand pound we'll we'll call that you know air quoting here you know digger fees <laughs> and we've got and I'm thinking it would buy in this horse area here, you know, the horse field. But then when we buy it, I'm thinking I'm actually getting rid of it. Um, need to load up the map in G as well and get rid of some of this rubbish. I don't, I don't like a lot of the rubbish that's kind of just scattered around the map. What have we got here? We have six litres of wool. How have we only got six leaf foods up to a third? Wow. Nice. So the food's up to 30,000 liters. Oh, we've only used 50. We've only used 53 liters. Um. Uh, do you know something? I need to save this in case we mess it up. Piece of advice. If you're ever going to do out like this. Save your game first, just in case you mess it up. But yeah, the sheep don't seem to come in this area, do they? So, if we were to make, like, a little pondy area here... Um... It doesn't have to be anything massively deep. It just needs to be... Something like that, maybe? I don't know. We'll see what it's like with water. And then the downside is I have to go all the way through here to... Something like that. Yeah, right. I just need to... I just thought of something. We're going to need access to this pond. We're going to need access to it. So... Don't need to be as deep as that, maybe. But it does just need to be a little bit like that. And a little bit like that, just to make it a bit easier to get into. I have just absolutely screwed up the... Uh, there, like that. There we go. I don't... I can say, I don't know. No, I'm not the biggest fan of that, but... You know what? It's better than paying a thousand litres. A thousand pounds for ten thousand litres of water. Um, decoration. We have got different waters as well, haven't we? Yeah, we do. Um. I'd rather have something cleaner looking. Yeah, that, that would be more... That will be more than big enough. So let's just put that... I don't know. In there? What's that look like? It, it's not great. Let's be honest. It's not great. But I reckon we could maybe... 
spend a little bit of time maybe well, i could maybe spend a little bit of time just off recording just basically this this sculpting i've never liked the uh the sculpting tool on this game ever not on 22 anyway i didn't mind the uh 19 version but i've never liked the uh 22 version N not once have i ever liked it if we do that there like that maybe get some what we've we got painting textures i've got some dirt I think that's where we went wrong. I think we should have put some river texture on it. Uh, bit, bit of, a bit of warm grass maybe. Bit of animal mud, just make it look a little bit wet around the edge. We'll, we'll figure it out. Bit of dirt. Um, need to change that there just to make it look a little bit more like that. I'll tell you what we might do. We might put that back there like that because we're not really going to be around that area. And then... Got grass somewhere. A little bit of grass just to blend that there like that. I don't know. Up to now... It's just somewhere to get water. I might delete water, just sort the riverbed. I don't want grass at the bottom of the riverbed. Or the little, you know, like the little pondy mark. So, I've just got to, uh, just got to raise that up there where it's just bugged out a little bit. And then just go back in and fix that. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll fix it off recording, but yeah. Give you an idea. That's where we're going to get water from in future, guys. It's going to be a lot uh, a lot cheaper to get water from there. I will spend some time just off recording, just tidying that little area up. But we, we, needed a water we needed a water supply that was free. I could have put a water supply in like a, a hydrant or something, you know what I mean? But I, I, I'm not really... A, I don't know, I use them all the time. I'm just trying to do something a little bit different on this series, so hopefully you kind of like the idea that I've got, even if it doesn't work on recording. But I, I will tidy that up just on recording. It'll be a lot better to uh, delete the water, sort the riverbed out, get, the, uh, get it all just flattened and smoothed out a little bit i hope that's the idea anyway right, let's do that let's do that let's do that so what we need to do now i just need to move this guy over to the next field ready for the next episode really but we are just approaching dinner time on the uh on the game as you can see um quickly going to there three thousand three hundred and thirty eight pound I'm wondering if that's going to come up as a sewing contract. Hmm. Never mind. It's not. It hasn't come up like I was hoping. Yeah, we're going to go now and just drive this over to field 61, which is literally just over the road. I'm, I'm pointing to it on my screen, like you can see what I'm pointing at. Uh, but yeah, I think that's going to be one of the easiest things to do. In the next episode, I know it's going to be oh, it's more ploughing, but it's winter. You know what I mean? We've, we've got to do something in winter. Ploughing, cultivating, and I'm just trying to find enough money to get a new tractor. But if we go for the 8200, the Ford 8200, you know, we're going to need another 10 grand, basically. We need another £10,000. It's a lot. It's a lot, especially in winter. But between the fertilising contracts, the ploughing contracts, there's a lot of cultivating contracts we could do. But again, there isn't really any where we, where our farm is. So without travelling to them, but again, then we come to that next problem of um, 
the Leyland is just so slow at driving around the map. It really, really is. Right. The entrance to field 61. But it's not through this bit of land here. Aha, we've been in this field once before. Aha. There we go. So that's going to be ready for the next episode, guys. I hope you guys have genuinely enjoyed it. It's been a fun episode. I do love playing the game. I do love playing on this map. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, but thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode.